14. We're going to be doing accounting for purchases and cash payments. Chapter 14, we did the selling. Now we're going to do the purchasing. I know it sounds different, weird, in that 15 comes in after 14 in this case, which is a purchasing. You know, sometimes I use uh, uh, chapter 15 to start with, then, then I go to chapter 14. But both ways, we'll do both. So chapter 15 has the purchasing items needed for a business, has analyzing, recording purchases on account, and analyzing and recording cash payments. Now, purchasing items needed uh, by a business is actually a, a process that you need to do, has more, you know, of requesting items, ordering items from supplier, verifying, and uh, processing the supplier invoice. So those four things that you need to do, that's what they, what they call the purchase of suppliers, supplies equipment, need to be divided into four stages per your request. Request is, is through the, your company, within the company itself, from one department to another department. Now, ordering is uh, from your company to another company, so that's what we call ordering. There's a bit different between requesting and ordering, by the way. Verifying items that you you when you receive them, you need to make sure that this is what exactly what you ordered, and then if you agree on it, and then you do start doing the process of uh, send uh, you know paying the invoice. Okay, so that's what we call here purchase request requisition. That's within the company itself. Then the purchase order is between your company and the supplier, and what else? So uh, the packing list usually comes in with the with the product that you ordered. So you want to make sure that uh, you know the company that sent you the supplier who sent you the items um, is really doing uh, the same um, order that you you send them. So you need to look at the pa uh, the packing slip here. Uh, then you do the uh, uh, processing stamp, which is you know you agree on the invoice and then you start uh, the process of paying it. Okay, so. Uh, sometimes some suppliers they give you a purchase discount, so and uh, it, it should be for some reason either items that you didn't order and they already sent it to you and they say you know what if you want to keep it we'll give you a discount just keep it and, and sell it, or you order you order a different uh, color and they get sent you you know you order red you got a, a black color for example or red co or, or, or blue color for example. Then you, they'll give you a discount if you want it, you accept it. If you don't, you just return the item. Okay, so you have uh, where else the next section? The next section is analyzing and recording. So you, you're uh, now you're going to be thinking about the account payables because because now you bought, so you're going to be paying those suppliers. Um, due date, for example, when it's when the invoice. I mean, remember the supplier will send you an invoice. Uh, agreeing on the amounts and when you could do, pay it and if you decided to pay it earlier uh, they might give you a, a discount on the on the paying early kind of uh, invoices it depends on the supplier not all suppliers will do that but some of them will do that okay guys and uh, that's that's it that's what we're going to be doing in chapter 15 uh, there's another section of it but we'll, we'll talk about it later okay bye bye